Yo, yo, what up? All right. First off, let's jump right into it. That uh, RGN that I that I was hauling, that was a power only load. That ain't my trailer. My trailer was getting fixed in the shop, so we done that power only load. That's why I was pulling that trailer. So, tricked you guys. A lot of y'all thinking that was my next trailer and everything, but uh, but it's not. It's gonna be some big changes, <laughs> and not in that way. But uh, we'll see what it is here pretty soon. I got a couple more videos I need to get up. But yeah. Just want to jump in there and tell y'all that uh, it wasn't my RGN because a lot of people was thinking I was about to get into some big heavy stuff. It was just power only. Sé que dejas cuando entras y sales Donde quedaron los besos y todos los planes No sé si vivir o morir Me encuentro en un limbo desde que te fuiste de aquí Eres la única persona que yo quiero que se venga encima de mí Mi libertad no la quiero Tampoco la vida es soltero Yo lo que quiero es que quieran lo mismo que todos queremos Tener una cuenta de banco con dígito y mucho cero Hacerle la mola a diario y de paso gastar el dinero. First way. Okay, and your truck number? Zero, zero, 007. All right, you're all set. Please come in with your truck and trailer number as well as license plate number on both. Thank you. Thank you. Waiting three hours, the crane has finally arrived. Now can y'all hurry up and get set up? So I can get this container off. Gotta go, gotta go. So, out here in Mojave, California, at a wind energy site, delivering this container and its contents. 
picked this up last week on Friday and it is Wednesday had nothing but trouble out of this damn container and load talk about that uh here shortly I just want to get unloaded wait for them to set up this damn crane been waiting three hours this morning already for this crane got to go pick up another load they need to come on but I'll tell you guys about uh all the stuff I've been through with this another video those are the four crates that I had to get moved to on this side to on the other side out of the container they each weigh 2,000 pounds each but yeah just basically took them out and put them on my top deck I put a tarp over it and put some straps on it that's good all right as y'all see I had a little trouble out of that container basically I picked that container up in Houston Texas Paperwork said that load weighed 32,000 pounds. It didn't feel heavy when I picked it up, so I didn't weigh it. My mistake, I should have weighed it because uh, I was going to Cali with it. And since I was going to Cali, I had to slide my axle forward because in Cali, you got to have your axle forward on a 53-foot trailer. So basically, I had my axle slid forward, too much weight. I ended up blowing a tire out going up 287 before I get to Amarillo. I was just outside of Childress, I think. And so with that indication, after I blew that tire, I weighed my load when I got to Amarillo and found out that the load was uh, like 40, 41,000 pounds. So I was too heavy to uh, ride on a closed axle. So I opened my axle because I've never been to California with uh, containers or anything. So I assumed it was going to be like Florida where you can just get a permit to go in into the state with your axle open and no issues or something. So fast forward, I drove all the way to the state line of California. Then I told my company to give me a permit to get into the state. They found out that uh, California does not let anyone come into the state with an overweight container. Like you can get a permit for your load for axle being uh, open or whatever for different loads, but not for containers. They don't want containers coming into the state if they're overweight so we had to go back to kingman arizona and find a guy who can uh move some weight out of my trailer so we opened up the container and he moved four crates out and put it up on my top deck because i was eight thousand pounds which turned out to be just perfectly enough to get uh the weight moved enough pretty much so i was legal with my actual clothes but yeah after we finally got that done i finally got into the state which wasted another day because i was going to deliver but the company i was delivering for had an accident and they had a, a worker a crane worker or operator get killed in another state so they shut down the whole company nationwide all the cranes so they can do a safety training so i lost another day waiting to get unloaded but basically you can't get into california with the overweight container if you're uh if you over on your clothes tandem on your trailer so just so you guys know if you never haul containers going into california you better make sure you weigh it because if that container puts you overweight you're not getting into the state unless you uh just say forget it and you try to blow some scales or something which uh good luck with that but basically, that's where you see me getting some stuff moved out of my trailer and everything and put on my top deck. So, see y'all on down the road. Tick tock, I'm on the clock and I'm feeling like this job's just a nine to five in my life away. It's like I'm back in school and I'm in the last class and I'm passing time until the bell rang. Having visions of summertime. Wait a minute now, it's just later tonight Ten legs and tailgates all up in the moonlight And by the way, let's pay Give it up for the weekend Pull it up at the time we alive Take a shot for the regrets Double up and it's about to get broke wild Hey ladies, let your head out We know ain't nobody scared now
good ideas Like I ain't worried about driving I'ma stay right here Living up for the weekend Pulling up at the time Church on Sunday, amen. Somebody says somebody work on Monday. Don't say it again. in some beautiful country back here in Colorado Glenwood Springs stopped to get uh, something to eat take my 30 minute break so might as well flip it around and uh, show y'all what I'm hauling well I got a little time before I get in here and get to eating and get lazy and then head out got another military load <coughs> Easy and simple. First off, y'all look at this. Tell me how much you think it weighs. They told me the thing weighed 32,000 pounds. Look at my truck. Look at that truck. Yeah, that truck's probably a lot of steel and everything, but my truck empty about 19, about, yeah, about 19,000, 20,000. They told me that truck weighed 32,000 pounds. That's gonna come back to play with how much securement I got on it. Turns out, the truck only weighs 20,000 pounds after I weighed myself at a cat scale just to confirm. 20,000 pounds, so it was lighter like I thought it was. So basically, I got chains front and back. I got one set of chain front with uh, two sets of binders and uh, what I did was, you see these big rings, I just went through this ring, came down and around my uh, rubber rail, hooked it. Same thing on that one, I went through and hooked it. So all my excess was just hanging right here in the middle of these two. So the excess I just pulled this way to that binder down and the same with that one. I just grabbed the excess, pulled down to the chain. Real easy and simple. Everybody always asks how I do it, but all this is just uh, my other excess wrapped up. I just kind of pull it tight. I always pull my binders, uh, wrap them tight where they can't go nowhere, and I put a bungee on them. That way you never have to worry about anything loosening up. And I've already been a good distance, and uh, I don't ever have to retighten my, my chains, binders. They always stay tight. All right, back here on the back. Now, come again. I thought this was 32,000 pound vehicle. I mean, I knew it was lighter, but he told me it was 32. So I secured my load for 32,000 pounds. So I got two sets of chains back here, four binders, which I didn't need all that. Once I weighed it, I only needed just one set of chains, uh, two binders. But basically, I didn't have too many uh, options on how to put my chains back here or anywhere to go because of this. So that uh, ring area where they probably hook uh, like these safety chains and stuff. I went to that. I just went pretty much through it. 
I brought my chain up through, come down, through the rubber rail, hooked to the stake pocket. My excess, hooked the top of the binder to, come back to the chain. Both sides, same way. It's just slightly an angle, but it really don't matter because I got the angle on this chain. It's just extra. Now, it was missing a damn shackle on this side, which really messed me up because of the uh, the distance I had to go from over there where I, I went down through the rubber rail and up and hooked my chain. But just going down and through and then across and down and through, it, it barely reached. I had to take off my, uh, my little pin and take my hook off so I could put my chain through that because it was such a tight fit. And uh, it was really hard to pull it tight enough to get it over a link. But I managed to get it, and then I got my uh, chains, I mean my binders, of course. Everything's nice and tight. Really tight back here on the back. Not going anywhere. Haven't had to adjust anything, whole route. I got it all bungee tight, all my handles and everything. You see how my handles got a bungee pulling them in one way or another, or blocking them from moving. So there's no way it's gonna unratchet itself in route. And that really helped me out. I've been doing it for years and uh, never had a problem. They always hold great. But that's my front and back. Still got my axle slid from where I come out of California. That's why I weighed it because I wanted to see how much weight was really on my axle. But since the vehicle is only 20,000 pounds, I got 19 on my trailer, 20 on my truck. It's like perfect spot where I got it sitting. It's a nice little, little truck. I mean, ain't a little truck, pretty big and heavy. It pulls a three axle uh, flatbed trailer, which they was loading up when I was getting, when I was there. But uh, yeah, been riding good. Everything, we made it all the way over to Colorado, from California. Hopefully I'll make it uh, up into Nebraska tonight. We're gonna deliver the load tomorrow. But it's taken in a beautiful sights. I haven't been through Colorado in a while. And man, it's pretty out here, especially this time of year <laughs> when it's not winter and you can just run through no problem. Got good, great temperature and beautiful scenery. But I'm about to get in here and eat my lunch and uh, get on down the road. See y'all. Me gusta mi reggae. Nati, nati. Si esa mujer fuera para mí, perdóname, te lo tenía que decir. Está dura, 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 que está dura. Mano arriba porque tú te ves bien. Está dura, mamacita, te fuiste de nivel. Dura, mira cómo brilla tu piel. Está dura, dímelo, dímelo, cómo es que está dura. Yo te doy un 20 de 10. Está dura, dura, dura. Búscate el limón y te quito. Ese como que se prende. Sueltecita la cintura, pa' bajar que te saca la entura. De nadie me dejo, yo soy vegetal.